Aha, it's actually working. Wow. Um, that's, that's taken a long time to actually get one of these to work and go live. For some reason, it wasn't working. Um, so, hello and welcome to uh, another review. Um, let's see, we've got, uh, there's nobody in at the moment, but I'm sure somebody will be along very soon. There we go, somebody's dropped in. Um, so what are we reviewing? You've probably already seen the link anyway. Um, it's going to be uh, this. It, uh, the box is a bit tatty. It looks a lot older than it actually is. Um, this, was, this one was brought out 2009. Um, to commemorate the uh, 40 years since the lunar landing or the TV studio landing, depending on your train of thought on whether or not it happened. Um, I don't have an opinion on that, so uh, I may do something, uh, you know, a little, little, uh, little bit of, humor in there i don't know i may do a little diorama with uh, this and then some tv cameras positioned around uh him jumping off the the ladder or um yeah do something like that something to uh, and maybe have aliens operating the cameras i don't know so anyway let's have a little look at the box let's bring this down it's quite nice artwork. It's obviously, um, I can't remember. It's Neil Armstrong. Was it Buzz Aldrin, the other guy? Uh, I'm guessing it's meant to be one of the, I don't know, Apollo. Uh, yeah, they were the first on the moon. So um, 20th of July 1969 was the day of the landing. Uh, so we've got this hand-drawn... Uh, picture uh, of uh, one of the guys in his suit stepping off a ladder um, he's just been up to clean the cockpit windows <laughs> it's got chamois leather no, I'm kidding. Um, and a giant marble hanging in the sky <laughs> oh dear um, and then we go on the back and it shows uh, some more of their other builds now I wouldn't mind actually having a go at some of these uh, I especially like this Apollo Lunar module. Um, I think they're great, but the, the problem with this is I, I wanted this this particular model for quite some time. Um, I'd, I'd seen I'd seen uh, I'd seen it on eBay somewhere a long time ago. It was really expensive. Now, then I went to Telford last year and I saw one of these built up. Um, and it was on a stand, and it looked amazing. So then I really wanted one. So I spent uh, the whole day going around all the stalls, all the second-hand dealers and that, trying to find one. I could not get one at all. I came home, I looked on eBay. No, couldn't find one on eBay. Um, so, you know, it was just uh, just as play a waiting game. And then suddenly, around about the end of November of the last year, one of them came. One of these came up for sale. Um, I can't remember how much I paid. I think I paid about forty quid, which I thought was a good deal considering you can't get it. It's very. It it was very difficult to get hold of. I haven't looked since. So I couldn't tell you whether it's any easier to get hold of now or whether it's any cheaper to get hold of now. But certainly when I was looking, um, it was a different kettle of the fish altogether. So I bought this. Um, it uh, sadly doesn't have any decals in it, um, which is okay because I've started doing my own now and I only really need to do the American flag um and maybe some on the front there i'm not sure uh but we will uh have a look just make sure i've then we just got some little pictures on the side and uh i don't like the painting on the face there it looks like an action man figure um 
I would hope that I could maybe do uh, a better job. Perhaps I'm uh, hoping a bit too much, maybe. But we'll see. So we'll bring this down now. And we'll take them out of there. Now then, this is normally when I say, we'll do this, and then I normally say, well, I don't know much about planes or cars, so, you know, bear with me. But it is, of course, the human body. So, if I come out and say, I don't know much about arms and legs, I'd look a bit of a tip. Let's move them pots back a bit so we can... No, I did get what did I do? Hold on. I've got this for checking sprues later, but I thought I'd give it a for maybe doing detail work. Yeah, that might work later to for you know. Um so we've got all our colours, which is there's an amazing amount of colours considering it's mainly white. Um but, uh, yeah, so then you've got your sprues. There's not many sprues to it. Uh, a lot of the work on this is going to be in the painting and getting rid of the seam lines. And then, uh, so we've got the, the face that's getting painted there. Now, to be honest, I really want to do the sort of gold heat shield over the, over the face so that you, you know, that you won't really see the face. But... Uh, I, I'm working on different ways of achieving that. Um, so legs going together, arms going together, um, legs going on the body. It's This is very, very straightforward. And then arms going on uh, backpack, uh, camera, backpack going on, camera going on the front chest. And then we've got some like some sort of oxygen tubes maybe. Um, and then we've got the ladder, the, the leg of the uh, whatever the, the lunar space shuttle is. Um, more of that, putting him in a looks like a big dish, um, and that's it. So, I mean, really, really straightforward. It's not a complex to build at all. As I say, it's going to be the painting is going to be the, the big task on this. I'm sure there's no little bits falling off. We have got a little shard of plastic there, but I keep that. Just in case, be careful of these. Don't throw these out because sometimes they have the decals tucked in them. Um, pop that to one side. And we will start with the base. So it's just the white plastic. Um, it's got the numbers stamped on them, 23 there, 24, so that, that's helpful. Um, and so this is meant to be the lunar surface. And you can see, let's try this out, see whether it works. So you can see on uh, there that it, uh, it says... That's one small step for a man, one giant leap for mankind. Sea of Tranquility on the moon, July 20th, 1969. And then you've just got that uh, lunar surface. This is obviously the uh, landing uh, leg. But we'll 
go in there, I guess, in that depression. So it's pretty straightforward. This is going to be the the leg of that uh, spaceship. So it's quite a size. It is quite a size. Um, it's going to, and then we've got some of these tubes. Um, sadly, there's seam lines on both sides of the tubes. Um, on these oxygen tubes so I don't know I might if I can I might replace them with um, some actual rubber or vinyl or um, have, have a look at what they used at the time and, and you know I might uh, try and change that this is part of the ladder uh, again there are seam lines all all the way around it Again, we'll come in with this and see whether, how well this is going to pick that out. I don't know whether it will. No, I don't think it's going to, but there's, um, let's let me try and go in without that. There you go, you can see it. Seam line on there, and it's on the other side as well it's worse on the back side if it will focus in no it's not going to focus in um, obviously you're going to have seam lines uh, to get rid of here where you join the two together but, um, you know, it's uh, 2009. When you say it like that, it doesn't seem that that long ago. Well, it isn't really 2009. It's ten, not even 10 years. Um, so, no, what am I talking about? I'm thinking sometimes when you say, you know, you go to watch a film or something and the film says it was made in uh, 1992. And you think, oh, it's not that long ago. It's quite a new film. And then you sit down and think, oh, hold on a minute. 92, 2002, that's nearly 30 years old. Um, and we've got the camera. Um, and this is very peculiar. This plastic has got a high shine to it, which I've never seen before on a kit this is really bizarre i've never seen such a high shine it's almost like it's been clear coated uh, the camera especially has got this very high i don't know you're not supposed to they they telling you that you're not supposed to paint this don't like the idea of that but yeah they're they're very highly polished hmm, that's bizarre and then we come we've got the hands arms legs massive detail on these you can see the zips that's going to be uh fun to try and get right there you've got the zip turn the light down or oh, very low put it low on this one there we go zip there and then you've got all the creases and folds uh, where you're going to have to put shadow and uh, stitching again um a mix of very highly polished surfaces on it mixed in with um, areas where it's not so polished it's crazy never seen that before very smooth as you'd expect um, but yeah look in that surface there it's it's just like it's been dipped in gauzy. Um, 
there's another hand there. Well, that will go, I guess. I guess that's the back of that. Right. Sure. Pop that down there. And then we'll do that one last. Then you've got the backpack. Again, a, a mix of um, very high gloss surface with uh, low low gloss. Um, the areas that are not on show, they're quite low glossed. Uh, but the other areas are very, very high gloss to them. Um, yeah, it's... Uh, mm. And then finally we've got the um the body which is the all-important body and we've got the face here that uh so i don't know uh, whether that's meant to who that's meant to be because i don't know what any of the uh astronauts look like um uh, not so much with the uh, shine on this main body, but it's there. It's definitely there. Uh, and it's not so much on the face. Um, you know, I really think that they've probably um, geared this up so that uh, you don't paint it, which is bizarre. I don't like that idea. Um, because, I mean, what they don't realise or what they haven't thought of is so... Let's, let's go with the train of thought that, yes, they've made all these super glossy parts because that's how they look in real life. And, yes, they want to... You just put it together. You don't have to um, build it. Um, you don't have to paint it. But the trouble with that is the minute you start rubbing the seams down, you're going to lose all that gloss. So you're going to have to do it anyway. Um, if you want to, if you want something to look really nice. Um, the only other piece that came is the, this is the yellow um, cover that, that, that's supposed to go over the, the shield to protect them from the sun. Um, I know that this shield is actually, it's got more of a tint than that. That's, that's got like a very slight yellow tint. I actually want this to be gold, uh, reflective gold is what I'm aiming for. Um, I hope that's what I can achieve. Um, I am looking at building this, uh, hopefully straight away. I've, you know, I've, I, I went to build it last night and then realized I hadn't reviewed it. And uh, so it got put off another night. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm really considering putting this one together and doing something with it. So there we go. That's, uh, that's probably one of my quickest reviews, actually. So that was the review for the... Uh, Apollo astronaut on the moon, one eighth scale. Um, skill level four, kit number, should you want it, I should have said at the beginning, was uh, 04826. Great kit, hopefully. Um, will I do, I don't know whether I'll do this live. I don't, probably won't build it live, but I'll regular updates on it um, and I look forward to seeing you all soon don't forget you can still get in on the uh, the Russian build um, and win yourself a beautiful pair of display uh, single blade nippers uh, retail around 40 quid but you can win a pair for absolutely nothing all you've got to do is join up to the sprue surgery waiting room and build something Russian. Um, make sure you take a picture of the kit before you start. 
uh, build something Russian and then uh, the winner will win themselves a pair of those sprucas they are here all wrapped up ready to go that's the prize so thanks for watching and i'll see you all next time bye for now